The Electromagnetic Bomb, a weapon of electrical mass destruction everything you need to know. Did you know that there's a weapon capable of causing widespread damage to electrical and electronic equipment? It's called the Electromagnetic Bomb, or E-Bomb for short. In this video, we'll explore the technology behind E-Bombs and their potential applications in both strategic and tactical information warfare. The key to the destructive power of E-bombs lies in the electromagnetic pulse EMP, effect. When an E-bomb is detonated, it releases a powerful electromagnetic field that can produce short-lived transient voltages of thousands of volts on exposed electrical conductors. This can result in irreversible damage to a wide range of equipment, including computers, radios, and radar receivers. Commercial computer equipment, with its high-density metal oxide semiconductor, MOS, devices, is particularly vulnerable to EMP effects. Even a voltage in excess of tens of volts can permanently destroy these devices. Other electronic devices and electrical equipment, such as telecommunications equipment and receivers, are also at risk. The technology base for E-bombs is diverse and mature. Explosively Pumped Flux Compression Generators FCGs, Explosive or Propellant Driven Magneto Hydrodynamic MHD, Generators and High Power Microwave HPM, Devices like the Virtual Cathode Oscillator Vercator, are key technologies used in E-Bomb Designs FCGs MHD Generators HPM Devices The Explosively Pumped FCG is the most mature technology for E-Bomb Designs it uses a fast explosive to compress a magnetic field, transferring energy from the explosive into the field. FCGs can produce electrical energies of terawatts in a compact package, with peak power levels. The coaxial FCG configuration is commonly used, as it can be packaged into munitions. Explosive and propellant-driven MHD generators are less mature but have potential applications in E-bombs. These devices use a plasma of ionized explosive or propellant gas to generate electrical current transverse to the magnetic field. Although their size and weight pose challenges, they can play a role in start current generation for FCG devices. E-bombs have the potential to be highly effective tools in information warfare, allowing for the destruction of an opponent's information systems. With their ability to cause irreversible damage to electrical and electronic equipment, E-bombs pose a significant threat in both nuclear and non-nuclear confrontations. As technology continues to advance, it's crucial to understand the capabilities and implications of these weapons. Subscribe Defense Matters